guys, it's Carrie here and I'm back with another cozy animation student vlog and we're starting off with the unboxing of this Devoom speaker. And I love it guys. I wanted you guys to hear the ASMR sound of just ripping out the packaging because it's just so relaxing to me. And this was sent to me for free by Devoom. I've been eyeing this everywhere on social media. I had it in my wish list, so I'm so thankful they reached out to me and sent it out to me for free. This video is not sponsored and I wanted to showcase this first because I'll be featuring this in the rest of my vlogs and I thought it would make more sense to show this at the beginning and then we'll get onto me working and doing some of my animation homework and I got this Devoom speaker in the white and teal color and I love it. I love how it has a little bit of like pastel pink in it. Ah, oh, and the speaker quality is pretty good, which I'll show you guys a little bit later. Um, I couldn't play any copyrighted songs, so I use one of my videos to showcase the sound, but I'm not an audiophile. I'm sure you guys are not buying this because it's the best quality speaker. We know we're gonna get this because of the cuteness and it just helps the whole vibe of my setup. And as you guys may know, I love investing into my setup and making things look really nice and cohesive. You guys hear that sound? Because it helps me work more efficiently. It inspires me to get up every day and draw. So I'm just, oh, you guys hear the sound? Ah, uh, the keys, they sound like they're blue keyboard switches. Everything about this is so satisfying and setting it up was pretty simple. I was able to connect it to my phone very easily. I used a QR code on the back, on the bottom to pull up the app. Oh, and the app has so many goodies. Oh man, I was playing some stuff on Spotify, but I couldn't, but here's some of the audio tests now. The viewers that are watching would like to see more of a different artwork. Yeah, I'm sorry. That was a mouthful. I'm just not trying to put a lot of pressure. I'm back with a quick unboxing. Digital artist gives... And that was my mini sound test and I hope you guys enjoy that portion. Right now I'm exploring the rest of the Devoom app. They have so many things going on so I wanted to try having a Kirby display and seeing how that looks because I've been playing the older retro Kirby games and I'm in love. And another thing I wanted to try out is having my own um, logo displayed on the screen so that's something that i can do because my phone is a samsung z fold 3 it comes with an s pen it's the only phone at the moment that has a pen which is super awesome so i took advantage of the big screen to try to recreate my logo at first it looked kind of wonky i had to do a couple times um i'm not a pixel artist i'm a digital artist but i don't do many pixel art i did very few back in the day so i definitely need to revisit this in probably make an animated icon of my persona but maybe I feel like that might be too ambitious um, I definitely need to explore the app uh, because um, I felt really limited using the drawing app built on the Devoom um, but for now I love how it made me drew in real time it connected directly to it and this is how it compares to my regular logo it looks the CNT kind of looks weird but I'm really happy that I decided to try it out it feels a very personalized it'll be cool if I could like make a clock out of like my logo like instead of like ct you'll be like the time uh so i'm glad that this comes with so many features i love using this in my shower um i end up playing with a bunch of different mode where it just rotates a bunch of random stuff uh so i guess i'm, I'm kind of chaotic like that and now let's get into my homework i'm gonna be watching anime jujutsu kaisen 
um jujutsu no kaizen i'm sorry if i'm butchering the name but spoiler warnings i'm not gonna be spoiling the show but i am gonna be watching it um i i don't know which episode i'm at because i finished it at this point but in case you guys see any spoilers from the shots um i wanted to give you guys a warning um maybe i should have that in big red letters but yeah the homework that i'm working on is a storyboarding homework for my class that i'm taking this semester it was supposed to be this post-production class where we're supposed to learn how to like edit animations I'm, i assumed but the class ended up being something completely different and i'm not super happy about it but i realized that way too late and i couldn't drop out of the class so here i am doing my homework and powering through uh the great thing is that storyboarding is part of every process. Um, I had to plan uh, 8 to 10 uh, uh, sequences of animation um, telling a logo. Well, I chose a logo animation. My professor said I could tell a story, but then he also said it was simple. So his instructions are very vague. So I was doing this while watching Jujutsu Kaisen because I've been enjoying it a lot. <laughs> I finished it. I see why everyone's obsessed with Gojo. Gojo is uh, the character that has the eye mask and he's, he's really funny. And uh, I want to talk more about the show, but I'm trying not to go too much into spoiler territory so i'll save that for a video when i'm doing some fan arts of the characters because i definitely want to do that um so this is my setup and i got a new tablet and it's the vike i i'll put the exact model number down below but it's my first big pen display and that i will cover in my next video unboxing it so you guys can see and i i really enjoy this thing and um, it makes it easier to see because i've never used any pen display that was bigger than 16 inches um so it was really nice having all the screen real estate at first i didn't think it would fit in my setup but it did oh and the homework that i the story i ended up doing because i kept changing it a lot i didn't know what to do for my 10 sequences um i ended up working on this late into the night <laughs> as you guys could see with my time clock it's like 3 a.m yeah i'm a late night owl i love working at night just because my setup just comes alive at night um I ended up choosing like this cake animation story. Um, to me, it made sense. Um, I'll definitely show you guys a close up um, towards the end. Um, but I wasn't super confident in this one. I did get a decent grade on it. He graded four out of five. I don't know. I think that's passing. But I was doing something just to turn the grade in. Um, and while trying to relax, I had the prompt on my vertical monitor the one that looks really long while watching anime and um, this took much longer than i thought normally i can work through storyboards a little bit faster it feels but i don't know if it's because i was in class or maybe multitasking is not a good idea but either way i was enjoying myself um i think at this point of the video i finally finished i drew all of this in click paint studio but i had to bring this into photoshop um this is also the same professor that prefers us using photoshop for everything um but i like drawing in clip paint studio and i use this template storyboarding template that was free in clip paint studio compared to the one that my professor gave me i think i'm gonna scratch the idea of showing us the storyboard i don't think it was up to my own personal standards so maybe another time but we're in the next portion of the vlog i'm trying out something different i'm got sent out these treats box from try treats and they have a variety of boxes for snacks i'm sorry that was a poor explanation Try Treats is a monthly snack subscription box. They sent you snacks around the world from different countries and they sent me out this one for free to try out. This is not a paid video. Um, I thought this would be really cool to showcase off in this vlog. I don't normally do these types of videos but this box offered that month specifically was from Thailand. So it was a bunch of treats from Thailand which was really interesting to try. Like, oh man, I have my live reactions after this unboxing so that you guys can see. Uh, but I really wanted to show you guys a top-down view of what everything comes with um, so that way I can have a better close-up because the angle that I have of me trying out these snacks it was really hard to show you how the box looked and I love how the box came in teal as you guys can tell blue and teal is my favorite color so ah. There was a lot of snacks uh, that came in this and they were really interesting I can't wait to delve into them so let's go! 
All right, guys. Um, I'm not sure which treats that I'm going to try first. Uh, I like that it came with this informational sheet. I'm going to try out the chocolate wafer uh, by Songhai. I'm going to put down my paint for somewhere close so you guys can hear. So let me just use my pencil holder so, to hold this and I'm going to point it towards me. <laughs> It has a little, it, it's like sweet, but then, but then it tastes like there's a little bit of garlic. I don't know, it's kind of weird. Mm. It's not bad. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Oh no. Super spicy. Um, I look like this. That's how they look. I guess I might as well try the, the seafood snack, the bento. This one's sweet and spicy. It's squid uh, mixed with surimi. Let's see. Ooh! Sweet and spicy. Mm -hmm. Spicy snacks, I never thought about that. Oh, this is like super spicy. Oh, mm -hmm. it's super. Yeah, this is super spicy. It's more spicy than this. Uh, it was such a weird flavor. But now let's try the next thing. Let's try something sweet. Let's try one of these mango um, gummies. Mmm. It's not super sweet. Okay. I really like this. It's so chewy. It's sweet, but it doesn't feel like it has a lot of sugar. Eleven of these, awesome! I these taste really good. It looks by the way. Mm, I don't like this with this one. It tastes like coffee. I'm not a big fan of coffee. So. Mmm, it has a little bit of caramel taste. I ended up trying the rest of those snacks off screen, but I do have a coupon code for you guys, 15% off your try treat box using KerryTube. I'll leave the link in the description. And I did end up finishing the other snacks off video because I was kind of super awkward filming this. But let me guys know if you guys would like more ASMR type built into the vlog. And here's some footage of how I set it up to film since I don't have any more content for you guys. So bye.